What? But you I, just said. I know you were getting a divorce. If I would have known, I would have put you through this. How could you do this to me? Some twisted grudge? I'm not well, and now this. I thought you moved down there to bumble fuck Fort Lauderdale because you were afraid to face the failure of your work. But now it's clear. You're afraid to face the failure of your marriage. So you escaped down here to get away from Clayton? Oh my god, Miss, you are so infuriating. Why would I bother to come here to get away from Clayton? He found me, didn't he? Why can't you just face the fact that I chose him over you? Okay. Was I angry that you chose him over me? Yes. Was I happy when I saw his career deteriorating? Absolutely. But when I saw what was happening to you, I should have been happy. I should have been glad that you got what you deserved. But I didn't feel that way, Amber. If I make the story in order to help you, if you must know. Help me? You call this helping me. You put me in a very difficult situation. A situation I don't know if I'm going to get out of. I came down here to get away from everything for a little while. You should try it sometime. Nothing serious. Just a mild case of panic attacks. 
I come here most often just to make sure she does her meditation. We feel miserably held up. So, the uh, medicine is for your nerves, that's all? I need to pick up a hobby, cooking or something unobtrusive like gardening. Mitch, are you going to be here much longer? Unfortunately, my flight is out of here at 3.30. Well, goodbye then. I'll see you tomorrow, Amber. Wait till I tell everybody that Amber Dexter Jones is my patient. <laughs> tell them I'm the freaking happiest person to ever walk the face of this earth. I like the dying story better. <laughs> <laughs> Well, 